Okay, so we just got back from an insanely crazy long road trip. Uh, my sister-in-law got married in Indiana, so we drove about a week and a half ago from Utah to Indiana, door to door. It was 27 hours. And then we were there for about a week and the wedding was just this past Sunday, today's Tuesday morning. And we left straight from the reception and we drove all the way home. It took us about 28 and a half hours. We just got in late last night. So I am a hot mess. Look at all my little flyaways from postpartum hair loss. I look terrible, but that's okay. I don't care if this is real life. Um, Faith, so we got home at like uh, 9.30 and then we just unloaded the car, most of it. I unloaded the cooler, put the stuff in the refrigerator, and then put the kids to bed, took a shower, and Faith would not go to sleep. So I didn't get her to bed till like 11 o'clock last night. And then I went to bed right away, I fell asleep. And then she woke up at 3.30, and then woke up again at 5.30, and was up and ready to start the day. So it is a little after eight. I am exhausted, so tired, and I have so much stuff to do. Normally, when we get home from a trip, I like to unload and put everything away right away. But because it was so late last night and we were just done and wanted to get in bed and get some rest, I thought I would save it for today and do a video, except I did unload the cooler because obviously that needs to be unloaded. Um, so let me show you this hot mess in the living room that needs to be taken care of. The first thing I'm going to be working on is putting the clothes away and starting some laundry. It can be super overwhelming trying to figure out where to start out, so that's where I always start first by just putting all of the clothes away and bringing everything upstairs. I put all of our laundry into a trash bag. That way I didn't have to sort through and try to figure out what was clean and what was dirty. That way I could just dump it all in the washer and it just makes it so much easier that way. Next, I'm going to move on to emptying our backpacks and just taking everything out of those. Faith is sleeping, so I left everything by her door. Once she wakes up, then I'm gonna go ahead and put her stuff away. I'm putting away our toiletries now, and it seems like whenever we go on a trip, I always bring absolutely everything, 
and I don't end up using all of it, but I would rather have it and not use it than not bring it and end up needing it. Now that I've got all the suitcases empty, I'm going to take them down to the basement and put them away in the storage closet. The van still has some trash and some random things, so I'm going to go ahead and bring all that stuff in so the van is all completely empty. We have the storage cabinet that's been really nice for putting our shoes in, so I'm going to clean this area all up. We took most of these shoes. This area tends to get out of control, so I'm just going to organize it and put them all back in here nice and neatly. All right, back to the inside now. One of my little tricks that I like to do when I'm cleaning after getting back from a trip, instead of taking a bunch of trips up and down the stairs, I put a bunch of stuff into this laundry basket, basically everything that goes upstairs. That way I only take one trip up the stairs and then I can put everything away at once. Like I said earlier, I already put away the cold stuff from the cooler back into the refrigerator. So now I'm going to be putting away all of our snacks and crackers and granola bars and all that kind of stuff that goes in the pantry. And I'm going to just start putting stuff away where it belongs before I get to the dishes. Now it's time to switch out the laundry again. It's always helpful if you have an end of cycle alarm or something or set a timer. That way you don't get behind on laundry. I love just keeping on top of it, especially when we kind of are backed up a few loads. I did our laundry from our trip and then we also had some laundry in the laundry basket that needed to be done. I wanted to make sure that I was on top of it. That way it doesn't pile up and I can just get everything done today. All right, back to the kitchen now. Whenever I clean the kitchen, I always have a certain order that I do things. I always put away the food first, and then I put away stuff on the counters that need to be put away. Then I move on to clean dishes, putting that away and unloading the dishwasher if needed. And then I work in on loading the dishwasher, washing the dishes, and then finally finishing off with wiping down the counters and sweeping the floor.
So I got the kitchen all cleaned, everything put away. And then the living room was perfectly cleaned. And then the kids started playing with toys. But this is all toys that was just over here. So nothing from the trip. All right, let's move upstairs. Now I'm getting around to putting everything away that was in that basket that I brought up from downstairs. So I got everything all put away and I'm just working on this last little bit of laundry here. I hope you guys found this video motivating and encouraging for when you guys get back from vacation. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.